In this video, I'm going to share with you the thought process that goes into managing complex symptoms in MS. Don't turn away because that starts right now. Howdy. Thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. I had a super busy day in the MS clinic today, and this evening I wanted to take a few minutes and reflect on a situation that we navigated through, helping a patient with a complex set of symptoms. So I just want to kind of share with you the thought process, or arguably the art of medicine, if you will. So this awesome person is middle-aged on a disease-modifying therapy and infusion therapy for relapsing MS. MS is pretty stable, but chronic symptoms are not. And two visits ago, we identified depression, so mood, and neuropathic pain as being two of her top three symptoms, the third being uh, fatigue. Now, we decided that we would tackle the first two first, so we tabled fatigue in the short term. At that point, she was taking Prozac and she was taking Neurontin. So Prozac is an antidepressant and Neurontin gabapentin is a neuropathic pain medicine. And so she tolerated them, but we questioned whether or not maybe the doses were too low. And so we raised the Prozac, and then a couple weeks later, we raised the Neurontin, and then she comes back for follow-up. So today, we talk to her, and her depression is not better. And her pain is not better, but she's feeling a little bit foggy and groggy from the high dose of Neurontin. So we thought through our goals, which remained treating depression and treating pain, and we decided that we would make a shift. We're going to switch her eventually off Prozac completely and off Neurontin completely in exchange for a pill of Cymbalta, Duloxetine. Cymbalta is a new age antidepressant, and so it should help with mood, but it also works pretty darn well at treating neuropathic pain. And so then we had to plan out the pharmacology of getting her off one antidepressant and then bringing her on another. We're gonna do things in three phases. That's the first phase, getting her off Prozac and then up on Cymbalta and giving that time to assess if it works, which can actually take like up to six weeks. Then I plan to see her back on telemedicine and we'll dial that in more if we need to. Once we're comfortable with the Cymbalta, we're going to look at the gabapentin and try to bring that as far down as possible, hopefully off. So in a best case scenario, Three visits from now, we hope that she's on Cymbalta monotherapy, treating both her depression and her neuropathic pain. At that point, we plan to reassess energy levels and fatigue, and if necessary, then we'll look to treating her fatigue. Now, I do want to point out that that was not the only maneuver to help her with those symptoms. There was a bunch of other things that we did, diet, exercise, lifestyle, behavioral changes, it's not just about medicines. I just wanted to highlight that example to kind of share with you the thought process of navigating through complex symptoms. If you'd like to hear more about things related to MS symptoms, click the video that's on your screen right now. My name's Aaron Boster, and as always, thank you for learning about MS with me. And until my next video or my next live stream, or even better yet, the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS. Be safe and take care.